Look, there's a lot of styles and trends going on out there that you might think, yo, that's interesting. Yo, I should wear it. No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't even try to emulate them. You should not try to wear them yourself. Matter of fact, let's talk about some of them. Number one, wearing dresses. Look, you have to take every trend and, and put it into context. Most of the men that are deploying dresses are doing so for some sort of high-end magazine designer, for some sort of runway display, or some extravagant gala or event. On top of that, they're also rich and they're also famous. You, my friend, are your average Joe and you're probably going to school, which means it's just gonna be a roast fest. But two, guys that wear designer from head to toe. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure some of the outfits are gonna look super clean, but just how effective and practical is this to do on a daily basis unless you have money? And see, this defeats the purpose of being able to dress well without having a lot of money, which is the whole point of this channel. You do not need to be spending on designer to be able to look good. Yes, it's fine if you do it here and there, but your main focus should be, all right, what is my basics? With my brand essentials, I focus on every single basic in a man's wardrobe and we perfect. For example, our bamboo t-shirt the best t-shirt in the world. You want to know how we designed that? I ordered, I think at the time, it was like 30 to 40 different t-shirts from almost any brand that you can think of, the best in the world, and I took the best of the best inputs, the best silhouettes, the best fabrics, the best compositions, the best weights, the best necklines, and I combined it into our first sample. It took about 10 iterations to get where we are today, and this is why it is our best-selling t-shirt. I think we've sold over like 300, 350, thousand units ever since we released it and it's for a reason bro we build the best basics in the world we did the same thing with the crew neck why do you think this crew neck looks so clean this essentials heavyweight crew sold out i believe it's sold out now i think we only have this colorway which is the dirt colorway in a few sizes and that's the point i focus heavily on a basic and I design a better one, something that feels great, that's quality, that, that's also gonna make you look stylish. So now you have your basics covered, right? You have your t-shirt, you have your hoodies, you have your sweaters, you have your chinos, you have the basics you actually need and now you can be wearing and deploying these outfits with ease knowing that they all mix and match perfectly. If you guys wanna check out Essentials, it'll be linked down below. But we also have an affiliate program. By the way, I don't think I've ever talked about this. We have an affiliate program where you can become an affiliate and earn revenue for every item you sell through your link. You know how much we've paid out to affiliates? Almost $800,000 in commissions. That's what we've paid out to you guys. Some affiliates are doing about 10 to 12K a month in affiliate payouts just by being an essentials affiliate and I'm telling you, bro, on top of looking good, I also want to fill your pockets with cash. If you guys want to become an affiliate, you guys can go to essentials.co. You'll see the affiliate tab, become an affiliate. And when you do, you can start earning cash for wearing the stuff that you already like to wear. Number three, wearing replicas or even like cheap homages. Like for example, that Invicta watch, it looks like a Samariner, bro. Like, let's be real. We know it's not a real Rolex, but it's trying to be a Rolex. Those Skechers, yeah, those aren't Yeezys. And those reps, yeah, those aren't the real Nike Travis Scotts. Here's the thing. The biggest issue is that, yes, resellers make it impossible to own the pieces that you love to own. For example, even when in the watch game, it's the same thing. There's certain watches that are impossible to get because resellers will put a 5X markup on one of them and it makes it unattainable for most people. Yes, resellers, they are a problem. However, that doesn't mean you should fight a wrong with a wrong. See, as a brand owner, I know how much you have to bust your back in the early stages to build a brand up. So I would hate to be Rolex, Nike, or et cetera, spend decades building a quality brand globally that customers actually love, that's reputable, just so some schmuck can grab my brand logo, slap it on their cheap shoes, and then sell and make a profit off of my hard work. And that's why you should not be wearing replicas. And then there's also the part where, the part where yo, if I want a nice watch, I want the real one where I know one, it's gonna last a long time, and two, it took me a certain X amount of effort to be able to buy the real one and not some cheap shortcut to the fake one. Number four, painting your nails. Boys, again, put things into perspective. You gotta put things in context. Yes, Bad Bunny can do it. Yes, MGK can do it. Yes, this and the other guy can do it. These guys are also rich and famous, and in their context, it makes sense. In the context for your day-to-day, -day, it probably doesn't which again rolls us to number five, 
you don't have to copy everything celebrities are doing. See, this is why I keep bringing up context and why it's so important. When a celebrity wears something outlandish, something that's not normal, that it makes you question things and it gets all this press, are they doing so because it's actually stylish and it makes them look better? Or are they doing it to make a statement, a loud statement that's gonna get them free press and build up their brand? See, when you do it, you don't have a brand to do something like that. They're doing it because it's benefiting their pocket. That doesn't mean you necessarily need to emulate that style because it's actually trending or it will actually make you look good. Now, this isn't to say that every celebrity does this. There's celebrities that you can take great style inspiration from that you can then apply into your day-to-day -day life that's actually gonna help you in your day-to-day -day life to be more attractive, which ultimately takes us to number six, spending a lot of money on clothes. It, this is similar to like the whole rep this, the discussion that we were having. Just because you want sneakers that are 3,000 or a watch that might be 20,000, it doesn't necessarily mean that you need that to look good. And that's been the whole point of this channel. You can buy great watches at 100 bucks. You can buy great sneakers at 100, 150 bucks where you don't have to be spending 20X that just to try to impress somebody. See, when you start to understand proportions, color palettes, and how to mix and match things, at, at, at that point, it doesn't matter what you're spending. What matters is how you're able to deploy Deploy fits and how confident you look in them. And I'm t I've said this and I'll say it again. A dude in a $50 fit that's confident will make a dude that's in a $5,000 fit look like crap. I showed it to you in the Walmart series. I took a Walmart fit and a Hugo Boss fit. Yo, you could not tell the difference. It's about how you wear them and knowing how to wear them. And that's basically it for this six video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, boys, if you guys want to check out Essentials for your basics, they're going to be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.